Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's Time to Thrive, Get Real, Get Raw with me. So, I am going to share some more of my secrets with you. So, are you ready to get some of the secrets? This is something that I have done for the past, gosh, 20 something years. I know it seems amazing that I've been doing something for 20 something years, which you guys thought I was only 20 anyway. Just kidding. Anyway, um, I love my planner. And, uh, you know, paper planners, as we know, are cool again. As we know, it's cool again. I love it. Everybody's like, oh, when is the digital version going to come out of that? And we all know that paper planners are super cool. And there's a reason why paper planners are cool. Because it's in your own writing, right? Like, you get to see it. You get to celebrate it. Um, and you get to add to it. And I don't know. And just have fun with it. So, anyway, this is my planner. I'm going to share with you my planner. And um, I'm going to share with you what I do and why I feel that I am efficient and effective. Not all the time, because, but most of the time. So anyway, what I do is I will look and I'll create my master calendar for the year and I'll plug in some of the things I've already got planned for, the, for that next year. So I've got them and, I've got, and I have them by months. Then I'll write down what are my yearly you know, outcomes or results that I'm committed to having happen in my life for that year. And not just with related to business, it could be personal things, um, it could be related to my health, it could be able, related to something I wanna create, um, a trip I wanna take my kids on, and then I'll write down what that, out, what that result is that I want to have happen, but then I'll write down why it's important for me to do it. So let's see. Um, so one thing that I wrote down was that would be interesting to you guys is, oh, okay, you really wanna hear this? I'll tell you. To buy, this was from two years ago. So um, to buy our first trailer park. That's what I'm gonna think, why? Because I know that it's an amazing investment long-term. I know that it's a great way for people to have a place to live and that we can be a part of providing that kind of service for people. So guess what? Yay! We bought our first trailer park January 2016. Um, another thing was to be a main stage, be main stage speaker at Most Powerful Women. Why? Because I know I'm there to help move people emotionally and see how wonderful this amazing profession is, right? Um, take, uh, create a, um, 80th birthday party for my mom. Why? Because my mom is an amazing woman and she needs to know how much she is loved and appreciated, right? So these are, what are my outcomes for the year and why is it important to me? Then what I'll do is like, so like my mom's birthday was in August. So I'll go immediately to my August time and I'll go in there and actually it was August 2016. So I'll go here and I'll write down here are what are the outcomes that I want to have happen for that month. So also that year is my son Quinn's birthday, my mom's 80th birthday, um, some other things that I was doing, buy Quinn a car, um, Joss get to a certain position, take Quinn to Fiji, uh, Fiji teaching life mastery program, get our team to a certain club level. So anyway, that's what I'll do is I'll write down my outcomes for that month. So that's this top part, I'll kind of circle it for you. That's this top part here. And then I'll go down to the bottom part, which are actually the achievements. So when I get to the month of August 2016, these are the things that I actually accomplished. So my mom's 80th birthday, um, took the family to Minnesota, bought, uh, took Quinn to Fiji with me, Asher's going to a new school, asked to speak in Bournemouth. Um, I had a day with my friend Heidi, I saw my friend Adam, um, I did an interview with Melinda. I surprised Quinn for his birthday here back at home. Um, I bought myself a new Toomey bag, um, got my lashes done. So everything, right? Asher lost a tooth. So I'll write down everything. It's nothing, nothing is too small to write down to acknowledge. So what I have is I have all these years where I start beating myself up of what I didn't accomplish and what I didn't get done. I'll go back and I'll just be like, wow. So pick a month, Jessica. Pick a month from any time from July 2015 to currently, which is October 2017. January of 2016. January 2016. Okay. 
so January 2016 as you can see also I chunked my life by dots so this is uh, related to one of my work this is related to another area of my work and um, this is related to special projects so let's see January 2016 my outcomes for Quinn had a San Diego um, lacrosse tournament the Josco's qualified national marketing director Australia Juice Plus, Toronto Juice Plus event. Um, the Joss gets a great trip to the U has a great trip to the UK. That um, that I oh, that I give my mom a gift. That we get that we contribute a certain amount to our house in North Carolina. That I submitted my taxes. So here's what I accomplished. Right, so those were my outcomes for that month, and here is what I actually accomplished January 2016. One, we took Quinn to the San Diego um, lacrosse tournament. I took Asher to the zoo. Um, I got to see my friend Monique. I went to Australia um, conference. I spoke there. Um, I was Toronto. I spoke in Toronto. I hosted the ladies' lunch. I hosted a manifestation course. Um, uh, I was also told that my friend um, was, unfortunately this is something negative, but I still record it as something that actually happened, that my friend Jules um, called me to tell me she was diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer. Um, I did my Pilates twice a week, and I submitted my taxes. So how many of you can remember what you did so, <laughs> January 2016? So I can go back and I look, and this kind of becomes a great way for me to reflect it also reminds me of when I get momentum, what causes me to get into momentum, and what causes me to fall out of momentum. So I try not to fall out of momentum as much as I can, but sometimes I just stop and take a break as well. So anyway, I wanted to share with you guys this little tool that you can do. It doesn't matter what kind of calendar that you have, but it's a great thing that you can do to just kind of set your outcomes for those months within the year, and, um, and then record everything that you accomplished for that month. So stay true. I hope that helps you thrive even more.